What is going on guys, it's Westrom here, back with another video, and in today's vid, we're going to be going over the new mobile update that came out for 1v1.lol. Now if you didn't already read the title, yes, snipers have officially released to mobile. They're not out yet on PC, but they should be coming out very, very soon. So before we hop into it, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So before we hop into the mobile gameplay, I don't feel like I gave you guys a brief enough rundown because I just said they added snipers. They added a lot more than just snipers and here it is on the Google Play what's new list and anyway it says of course they added a sniper but they also added aim trainer added South America and Australia servers added online player count in each region so you can see how many people are playing while you're online and then they fixed many bugs of course we've introduced a bunch of bugs throughout videos and well they're finally fixed so i'm super happy about that then there's also some controller updates they removed auto fire on the controller if you don't know what auto fire is it basically makes you shoot automatically when your cursor's on a player and then they also fixed twitching to weapon bugs so uh, sometimes your weapons would get kind of weird when you tried to switch between them. Anyway, that should be patched now if you're a controller player. But we're here to play on mobile, so I'm going to go ahead and boot it up on my phone, and we're going to go ahead and play some mobile. So here we are on mobile. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be asking, how am I able to play when it's only out on Google Play? Because as a few of you guys know, I play on an iPhone. I don't have an Android. Basically, I am a tester for the game, so I get access to these updates before they even come out, because I get to test them, and then I get to refer back to the creator if they're good enough to put out or if there's any bugs so yeah that's exactly how i'm able to play it on ios but it's not out on ios yet as i'm recording this video it's only out on android uh or google play each whatever way you want to call it so this is the new layout you guys can see there is one button that's a little bit different called aim trainer basically this is going to help you with your aim there's bots in the game and you're able to shoot at them there's different like courses i guess not necessarily courses but layouts that you can work with and it does really help your aim so we're going to hop into that first and yeah these buttons look really cool i feel like they should add these buttons to pc because honestly that would be a game changer it would be way more aesthetically pleasing than like the default buttons on uh the computer but here we go we're gonna go ahead and tap aim trainer and here we are so you guys can see we start out with three bots running in like a lane or whatever which is pretty funny and you're able to shoot them like that now this is auto fire i don't i don't usually hit the fire button myself this is all auto fire so if my cursor's on them it automatically shoots like right there so you'll see as the robot runs by i'm able to boom it taps and i'm not even touching it it literally shoots for me so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and kill that robot there we go really easy now there's like a huge lane of guys but so there's a huge lane of guys over here i'm gonna go ahead and shoot at them and you see the auto fire comes in so good at our hand like look at this we took out a full row of bots just by standing there. So, of course, if you're like a mobile player and really trying to test your aim out, I would go in the scoped in mode, turn off auto fire, and then just shoot naturally at each thing, like how I'm doing now. And boom, see, your aim gets a lot better to using this. So, in one way, of course, you're gonna end up using auto fire, I'm assuming, but if you don't, this is the best way to practice your aim without auto fire. And then, of course, what we've all been waiting for, the sniper. I'm going to pull up the sniper. Now, I don't know if it works with auto fire. Yeah, I don't think you can auto fire. Let me try and zoom in and auto fire. Yeah, it doesn't actually auto fire on him. And there's a little bit of aim assist right here. Like, it tries to lock onto him, but it never actually shoots for you. So here, you actually have to shoot your gun. So this one gun is finally a gun where you don't have to rely on auto fire you can actually learn to use the sniper. Here we, here we go. Boom. So your boy's already getting good with that aim. Let's try and aim at this guy. Okay. Let's see if we can get him on the run back. Oh, no. A little too late. But there we go. You guys can see. I love this new sniper update. And I can't wait for it to be on PC. I think it's going to be a game changer. It's a little harder for me to use on mobile because you have to not only tap in the scope in button, but uh, yeah. Okay, this gives a little sus. Watch. I'm going to aim my cursor at the head. Watch where it ends up going. I'm not even touching it. Boy, boy, why? I'm going to move it up again. Look, look. What is wrong with the game, bro? Okay, and then you shoot. Are you serious? Uh, okay, mobile's a little sus, guys. Auto, uh, like, aim assist is a little bit sus. So we're gonna go ahead and leave aim trainer and go into some actual 1v1s to try out the sniper. Okay, so here we go into a 1v1. So hopefully we queue up really quick. And I just realized, 
we're in the tester app, so it's going to be really hard to go into a 1v1 unless I get a tester to play alongside me. So I'm going to try and do that real quick. Maybe I won't be able to. Maybe I will. We'll just have to wait and see. Hey, everyone. Future Westrom here. Sadly, I think this is where I'm going to have to end off the video. I've edited all this footage you guys can see. I spent a lot of time working on this video. Sadly, none of the testers are online right now, and I really want to put this video out as soon as possible for you guys. So I think this is where I'm going to end it off. I think I gave you guys a pretty good idea how the sniper works, how it's going to be used on mobile. And yeah, it seems like a pretty cool update to me. Anyway, if you want to check out my other videos, click the little boxes over here and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and whatnot. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.